Hi everyone, Mark here from Couchbase. Today I'll be showing you Capella IQ, the Couchbase AI coding assistant. When we consider the developer's journey and tasks, it really begins with a blank slate. The developer has to think through what they need to build. Then they need to investigate and research, which eventually leads to writing the code. But that's really only the beginning because once there is code, it has to be tested, both for functionality and in how it works with data. Then bugs have to be discovered and fixed and rinse and repeat until you have the final product. But what if you had a brilliant AI-based assistant to help with all of this? Would that make things faster and easier? I think it's time to meet Capella IQ. All right, here we are in Capella. Um, this is the Capella control plane, and I'm currently in the query workbench. And IQ is really great at helping developers quickly understand how um, Capella works. So as an initial step, I'm going to use IQ to help create some sample data as a starting place for developing my application. And notice that I'm starting off with a completely blank slate. I just have a, an empty database here, IQ demo with just the default collection and scope, no data, no documents. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leverage IQ to help uh, hydrate this with some data, if you will. And suppose I'm developing a wine shop application, and I want to create some sample data to work with in Capella. So IQ makes this extremely easy. So first, I'll ask it to create a scope named wine shop. Scopes are analogous to a relational schema. IQ creates the required statement. I'll go ahead and run that. And there we have that scope, wine shop. Next, I'm going to organize my data into a collection. Let's go into that wine shop scope for context and now create a collection within the scope called wines. And a collection of Capella is analogous to a relational table. And IQ creates that collection statement. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And when we do, we see now wine shop and wines is in place here. So we really have the basic containers. Now I'll ask IQ to add some sample data. And this way, I don't have to go through creating and loading my own data just to start working with my, uh, my application. So setting that now, now context for wine shop and wines, let's go ahead and ask IQ now to create some sample data. And to make it meaningful, I'm going to request that we get realistic wines, different brands and actual real wine names. And IQ creates that for us. Look at all of that rich data that we can take advantage of with our application. So now I'll click run and effectively add that data directly into the database. So now if we go over into the wines collection, we see 10 documents. And if I look at the documents view, sure enough, loaded with rich data, realistic uh, wine information here. All right, we've used uh, Capella IQ to create our data. Now let's leverage it for working with the data. I know that my application will be asking uh, basic types of questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask IQ to show me what queries look like for those types of questions. In this case, I wanna create a query to show all data for wines from Mondavi. So IQ creates that, I'll go ahead and run it. And we get back our result. Because we only have a few documents, there's only one uh, Mandavi wine. And we can also see how long it took to execute, about three milliseconds. But JSON document databases rely on indexing for speed and performance. This is why Couchbase is so blazingly fast. So as such, IQ actually um, detects a better index for this particular query and suggests uh, that index. And all I have to do to build it is click here build suggested. Now we have that uh, index in place. When I rerun it, it should go a bit faster. Sure enough, it goes incrementally even faster. So this is one of the ways in which Couchbase Capella maintains its blazing speed. Uh, and IQ helps us uh, gain that advantage by suggesting these indexes. So let's go back into IQ. And uh, another query that I know my application um, we'll be leveraging is uh, inventories. So I'm going to go ahead and ask IQ to create a query that shows the inventory account for each of our wines. And IQ creates that query. I'll go ahead and run that. 
But in this case, instead of just viewing the results in a table or in a JSON document, let's go straight out to a visualization. And just like that, we've gone straight from asking IQ to create a query to insight on our inventories across all of our wine brands. So in this short time, we've been able to create a basic data structure, create sample data, and even begin to, to look into that data and analyze the data. But at the end of the day, it's going to be my application that interacts with the Capella database. Uh, so I'd like to now ask IQ to help out with some sample code. I'm a Node.js developer, and I went ahead and uh, um, declared that uh, when I signed up for Capella. So as such, IQ is presenting me the option to generate some sample Node.js starter code. And there we have it. IQ has created the code. All I have to do is copy it and paste it directly into my IDE. And I have a jump start on developing my application. IQ made it super easy to do this. The benefits of IQ are clear and straightforward. By augmenting your development process with AI, you can reduce the time and effort to adopt Capella. You can reduce costs and reduce risk, overall getting better products to market more quickly. I hope you enjoyed this short demonstration. Be sure to take advantage of the Capella free trial, and thanks for watching.